Good afternoon, everybody. We made it back. We are here. 60 degrees, sunny outside today. Decent day so far. We've got No Toes first in the chat, as always. What's going on, No Toes? Pika Power, Tim, Rozzy, Pika Power. We get Tim, Pika Power, Tim, Rozzy, Pika Power. We got Pika, Pika, Tim, Rozzy, Pika, Pika, No Toes, Rozzy, Tim, Pika, No Toes, Wana, Wana. Good afternoon, Wana. Wana, we got Tim Pika Power. Tim Wana Pika Outdo Bro. Wana Pika Tim Outdo Bro. Pika Pika Tim Outdo Bro. Outdo Bro. Pika Wana Tim Tim Doctor Mina. How you doing, man? Outdo Bro. Wana Dark Bro. Thank you very much for the super chat, Dark Bro. I'm back, baby. Guess who's back? Back again. Dark Bro's back. Tell a friend, Dark Bros back, Dark Bros back, Dark Bros back, Dark Bros, Dark Bros back, man. What's going on, Dark Bro? Dark Bro, I'm Pika Power, Outdo Bro. We get Pika, Old Rounder, Dark Bro, Outdo. We get Dark Bro, Pika, Tim, all of you guys. Thank you very much for being in here. Let's see what the market's doing at the moment. The market is recovering a little bit from where it was earlier. Uh, AMC closed the day at $5.33, down 5.66% of the day. <coughs> Shiba Inu coin up 1% of the moment, eleven ninety eight. dollars GameStop, get a little green can on the after hours trade there after closing 3% lower. Bitcoin, $20,800 per coin. A little bit of a bounce from where we were earlier, but I mean, nothing, nothing really. What are we going from 20,600 to 20,800? That's not even a move for Bitcoin. The spread is larger than that on Weeble. So it's not even like you're going to make 200 bucks if you go in there and bought one on Weeble. Ooh, that's a decent decline on AMC there. Uh, the NASDAQ actually finished the day very nice. Remember, we said right here as it was bouncing off this, uh, I got to find the intraday level of support. Where was it at? Let's go five minute. Oh my goodness. Where are we at here? We'll find it on the QQQ. We'll find out on the QQQ in a minute. Bjorn Therapeutics closing the day down 12%, man. Difficult day for Biora down to 28 cents per share. Ethereum down up 2%. Shiba up 1%. Dogecoin up 1%. Bitcoin down a half percent. Sundial closing the day slightly higher. Mullen Auto 5% loss at 26 cents. Sounds to me like Tim, or not Tim, sounds to me like Frank may be picking up shares of Mullen Auto soon. CEI sitting at 15 cents. The SPY closing the day almost 1% higher. BBIG, 82.9 cents. Recovering nicely off 75. Highcroft Mining sitting at 72.7 cents. We've got Netflix closing the day at 258. Bouncing back with the overall market. Terra Luna Classic, 22,600 points per coin. QQQ. Remember we put this line right here. Bouncing off these intraday lows. Said it could be a decent time to get some calls. If you guys want to play this bounce off of here. It never looked back and moved higher throughout the rest of the day. I don't know what those calls would have produced right there. But I'm telling you, 263 to 267 is a major move on the QQQ. And you probably could have made 3 400 percent on calls that expired today uh and then ape closing uh ape having a pretty difficult after hours trade there down three percent but nonetheless man ape sitting at a dollar 47 at the moment after hitting dollar 41 lows during the intraday trading there let's keep our eye on bitcoin for a little while and see if it's going to do anything but nonetheless back to the chat dr minya rahal thank you very much for the mm -mm -ts. Mm -mm -ts. Mm -mm. Dr. Minion Man, thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that one, man. Love you all you guys with those fist bumps out there. Arthur, what's up? You get those tickets? Show no, I actually did not, man. I was not able to leave the house during the in between the live streams. I want to try and leave. Uh, I want to try and leave right after this stream and, and be able to go pick one up, dude. Because I want my shot. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to all three. But I do want to try... I don't know what time the, the last time you could pick it up is, but I was not able to leave the house in between the live streams, so I did not get those. But uh, no, if I get them, I can throw a picture or something in the Discord. But I couldn't. I did not leave the house in between the live streams, so I can't say yes, I did go get those. But I want to go grab them as soon as the live stream is over. So five o'clock. Take a time, baby. Two billion dollars coming our way. Can't believe people that actually think partnering with Doquan again is a good idea. <coughs> oh, they don't think it's just a good idea, Dark Bro. They think it's the only idea. The only idea, man. And I don't know if you guys can tell. Is like I don't know if my forehead is red or not. But I got this little mosquito bite on my forehead, dude. And it itches like crazy and it was red a minute ago. I know if I scratch it, it's gonna be really red. Uh, let's see, Dark Bro. Now that's a pick. 
Looking good, baby, looking good. What is Dark Bro's picture? I can't even see it. It's way too dark for me. Uh, Tim, I can use some. Thanks. I didn't see what Tim said. Tesla's getting... Uh, let's see what Tesla's... Let's see what's happening with Tesla. Isn't it funny, man? I, I don't know. I, I really don't get... Maybe you guys could explain it to me. You probably can't. I'm just saying you probably can't explain it to me. But I really don't get this hatred for Elon Musk. I really, is it just because he's rich? Like, people just want to hate him because he's rich? I, I really don't, I really don't understand the hatred for Elon. And like I said, you, it's not one of those, like, explain it to me. I, I still probably won't understand it unless it's just some very simple concept is to, well, they don't like him because he's rich. Okay, I, I get it. But I, yeah, I really don't understand why they don't like Elon to the point where, we gotta ridicule this dude all day on social media and then sell off of his companies. It's crazy. Um, Tesla sitting here. Tesla down five percent today as the overall market is up. This is this is a very important line, guys. Very important line. All right. This is what it was testing. This is a weekly chart. So if it breaks down through this level. You could absolutely find some support here at the upper 180s, 190-ish. If it breaks down, if it breaks down through this, I don't see why we're not going to see 150 again on Tesla, which would be a very steep decline. This is a weekly graph. So the question becomes, how many shares of Tesla are you guys buying at 11 bucks a share? How many shares of Tesla are you guys buying at $11 a share? How many? I want to know. How many shares of Tesla are you guys buying at 11 bucks a share? 10 of them? 1,000 of them? Like, well, how many Tesla shares are you guys buying when, uh, when they hate Elon so bad that they send his stock price so undervalued down to 11 bucks a share? How much are you buying? All of them? What are we doing here? Uh, I want to go to the third gas station. There it is. Wanna says go to the third gas station. Guess what gas station we go to? Number three. I like it, Wanna. Gotta go to number three. Claybro hoodie, 2024. Let's make it happen, Pika. Let's make it happen. Claybro hoodies in 2024. Yes. We should all get like, uh, you know how they give stickers out if you vote? We should all get stickers for voting tomorrow. That would be good. <coughs> if we all got stickers for, well, not Crypto Rocketeer. He's not voting. <laughs> Sorry, man. Bro, you got the Powerball covered. I got the Mega Millions. Let's go. Dark, bro. Let's do it, man. I feel like Luna 2.0 needs us more than we need them. We have way more volume. Good things coming. Utility being developed, though slow at the moment. They want us, and they want our numbers. Yeah, Kev Machine. They really do, man. They really do. Um, And, you know, a lot of people... I was actually watching a decent interview with Joe Rogan. I forget what it was. But he was talking about this, like, effect that celebrities and rich people have on, on people. And and if you view somebody as, as rich, if, if they're famous, it almost doesn't matter what they've done or how they think or, or what they do. You, you, like, you take them as authority. And I feel like that's a lot of what's going on with Do Kwon. There's a group of people who see that Do Kwon can hand them a $4 million wallet. And, and, you know, Daddy Quan out there can take care of them if, if they get us to follow Do Quan. And this integration root back into Luna 2.0 would be just that. You know, they have the developers, they have the programmers and the coders, and, and we have the hype and the excitement. They know that they can't compete with Do Quan and his, his coders. So they're saying, okay, let's just follow him and he'll be able to take us to the promised land. I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. Follow a guy like that once, um, and bad things happen. Okay, I mean, that's throughout history. Follow him twice, and bad things happen again. Ooh, I don't know who that's on at that point. Kind of like fool me once, fool me twice type deal, right? Tesla at eleven dollars. I might have to get into stocks if that's the case. Dark bro, yes. Honestly though, if Tesla did hit eleven dollars. I don't know. Let's let's say they sent Elon Musk to prison or something, and Tesla dropped down to eleven bucks. Yeah, you should get in. You should. To, uh, Elon Musk could probably run Tesla better uh, from prison 
than 95% of all business owners and, and all politicians that are in existence outside of prison. Like, yeah, you, you should get into it. That, that would be financial advice at that point. So we'll see if it ever happens. But Tesla at $11 is a, is a nice bargain, man. So far, every shareholder meeting had AMC drops. It is not good, man. We need every we need we need AMC to rise. I mean, I I highly doubt that it goes against the market, but we do need AMC to rise. And when AMC rises, you guys better be looking at my eyes because I still got my shares, and my eyes are gonna be full of dollar signs, just like <gasps> Arthur, man. Look at. <gasps> Thank you very much, Arthur, for the super sticker, man. That is going to be my eyes when AMC's on the rise. Oh, yeah. Joining with Luna 2.0 would go one of two ways. We join and they milk us for the dollars. People sell their coins and trash price and buy back in. Number two, they join and they and they trash the whole project again. Then Luna, <laughs> Luna 3.0. Oh, gosh. Would anybody buy Luna 3.0 at that point? <coughs> That'd be crazy. They don't like him because he has so much power, Clay. I, I, I think that's what it is, man. I think he's got too much money f for for them to, for them to like or anything. I disagree with it, right? I think the dude could have a trillion dollars if he wants to go out there and work hard for a trillion dollars. I think the dude can have a trillion dollars. Um. Yeah, so I I disagree with it, but you are right, dude. It's too much power, too much money, something along those lines. And and not really falling in line. It, look, I I don't think it matters who says what to Elon Musk. The dude's gonna make up his own rules. It's just it's is what it is. Uh, Tim, that's my song too. Just substitutes the verb. And what did Tim say? Did he do fourteen? I'm just a poor farmer. I go for the highest, it's cheapest, the beer, something. Drink water, dude. It's a lot cheaper, and you'll still you'll feel great afterwards. I say go with water. Uh, I would take everything I have to stay in if they... Jo oh, yeah. L look, man. Me too. Me too. If I got to start doing videos on how great Do Kwan is, I don't know if we're going to be covering Daryl in a classic anymore at that point, boys and girls. Uh, let's see. Uh, I suppose we didn't enjoy it, uh, the munchies so much. <laughs> Steven, man. Steven, you guys are crazy, man. You guys are crazy. The only way is the munchy way. You guys are all nuts, dude. I swear. Greetings from Easter Island. Greetings from Ohio, Mr. Simon. I think Lunk should team up with Dookie Kwan if he turns himself in and is found innocent. Look, that could be a good compromise, right? That could be a good compromise. He's just sitting there to say, he's just sitting there tweeting out, I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And look, maybe he didn't do anything wrong. I don't know, right? I don't know if he did anything wrong. But people think he did, okay? And the dude is potentially facing major lawsuits. So it's definitely not the best look. Shildo Kwan, bro. Shildo Kwan. I'll tell you, okay, let me put it out there. I'll put this out for everybody who wants to know, okay? If, if Do Kwan does want to give me that $4.16 million wallet, Okay, if Doquan gives me that four point one six million dollar wallet, I will make a video, whether that is a short form content video or a long form content video. I will make some sort of video mentioning the words Doquan and talking about him, shilling him for the next ten years. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll make it at least a short video and I'll post it on YouTube. I'll post it on TikTok, wherever he wants this video, Twitter, $4.16 million wallet, I will I will make at least a five-second video every day for the next 10 years. That's all he's got to do. Do Kwan, man. You want to give that wallet away? Give that wallet away, dude. You get a video for the next 10 years. Uh, let's see. A world's richest man, and he doesn't even own a house. Sleeps at a friend's or at work. The dude is wild. I mean, he is a different, he's a different breed, dude. He's a different breed. Elon Musk is not a normal man. But you, you don't make two hundred and fifty plus billion dollars if you if you have normal thoughts. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing normal about Elon Musk, and there's nothing normal about being the richest man in the world. You just you honestly you have to live in your own little you have to live in your own little world at that point. It's probably pretty lonely. Pat 
Patrick! Thank you very much. Get one from each of the three gas stations, Patrick, man. Thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna have to go to each of the three gas stations now. Juana said number three. Patrick says all three. Patrick, man, thank you very much for the super chat. We are definitely going to, I, I really hope that I can just peace out the house real quick and then come back in time to, to worry about all of those videos and stuff uh, tonight. But I do want to get out there. I was not able to go during the, during the break in between live streams. You got to count inflation, at least 45 millions, uh, Steven, dude, or Stefan or Steven, I really think I might have missed something there, man, I'm not exactly sure what we're talking about, Who about only guilt, guilty people that are, face, are, are scared of facing justice, yeah, I would say so, I would say so, I mean, look, if I was true, I really wouldn't want to waste my time, like, if I knew that turning myself in meant five-year legal battle when, when these people just wanted to, like, take my money. I don't know if I would just walk up and say, ah, yeah, let's go through this. Let's go. I don't know if I'd do that uh, because I know the lawyers are the only ones that win. The lawyers are the only ones that win in those situations. So that it, it would be kind of annoying, right? It would be kind of annoying, especially if I knew that they were just walking away with $100 million dollars afterwards the three gas stations in the direction of the north south east or west uh yeah outdo bro so it's kind of an exact mix man the the one's gonna be south the one's gonna be slightly north and the other one is uh the, the other one that i'm thinking about is slightly what northeast slightly northeast so all directions all directions one is honestly southwest from this house the other one is just due north and the other one is northeast uh i think he's autistic not confirmed that i know oh, those people are often very clever and often live in their own worlds crypto rocketeer exactly and i don't know if he is right if he is i, I think it's some sort of like a, a very mild form if it would be but i i don't know i haven't seen anything talking about that uh, proof of memes, huge arbitrage opportunity. Interesting, Matthew. Where? Where are we arbitraging proof of memes at? What different exchanges? Hey, bro, is the official start of Bitcoin bull run? Thoughts? Snow 17 or 15? Not happening. Yeah, PS5. So, thoughts on that? Me, personally, I'm going to disagree with it. Okay? Uh, let's talk about it towards the end of the week. Before I would agree with that. I think that these elections that we've got going on could potentially drive it lower, okay? I, I think these, these elections are going to be too important just to make a guess before the elections happen. If positive election results are here, you're right, it, it could be the start. If people are extremely discouraged and upset with the election results, I think we got some further downside, man. I do. I, I think at that point, you know, we could be seeing the 17, 15, and so on. So let's uh, let's wait till at least the end of the week to make the determination of whether or not we feel comfortable that we are near some very stable prices. However, one of the things that a lot of people are looking to to say that this is the bottom, the bottom is in, and so on, is this Bitcoin rainbow chart, man. We are right here at the bottom end of this Bitcoin rainbow chart. Saying that, um, that, that, you know, we're not going to go any lower. We're not going to break to the downside of this rainbow. We are on an absolute fire sale at this moment. And, and this is the technical analysis that people are looking at to prove the bullishness of, of Bitcoin at this point in time. I, however, do think that we could break to the downside, man. If anything is going to do it, it's, it's political elections. It's potential wars. It is exceedingly high interest rates and exceedingly high inflation rates. That will absolutely do it. So let's let's talk at the end of the week and, and see some election results and how people react to those election results before we necessarily put it in. Hey, let's click the like button, become a bro. We're here every single day and we're growing our portfolios together. Do it. Listen to Tim, man. Tim's got some good advice on that one. Click the like button. Don't be weird. We got 23 likes and 47 people. 
make sure to click that like button. Kind of nice to see the first winner of the Terror Rebels Lottery ended up staking the majority of it. Very nice, Kev. Very nice. I did not see that he, st he staked the majority of it, but that is very cool. Uh, let's see. He's asking, hey, Dark Bro, is he really? I, I don't know if he is or not. <coughs> Uh, let's see. I think he, I think he's D-Bag, who thinks he's above uh, getting the crap knocked out of him. Just my opinion. I could be wrong. Are we talking about Elon or are we talking about somebody else? Massburgers 2, fun fact. Very nice, Dark Bro. Proof of memes. Ethereum 2.0 holders will get airdrop. PL owns dashboard releases in seven days. You can confirm the swap for airdrop for ETH in 2.0. And POM, proof of memes, will list tomorrow on Mexi for 30 cents. And Matthew, where can you get it? It's going to list tomorrow for 30 cents. Where are you saying you can get it for cheaper than 30 cents right now? I smashed it. Uh, you should too. Yes, listen to Moji and smash that like button. Smash face. <laughs> Heck yeah, I'm last. and was like 26. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Only 26. Guys, click the like button. Beefy Finance. 80,000 max supply. Buy now. Beefy Finance. Beefy finance, huh? Where do you guys come up with these coins? <laughs> I don't know where you find this stuff at. <coughs> it is true. Beefy finance, guys. Binance Smart Chain coin, only 82,000 beefy finance circulating, which is, or 72,000 beefy finance circulating. The max supply is 80,000 beefy finance. How this coin has a $32 million market cap, I have no idea. Gosh, dude, that's got to be fake right there. $10 list price at the end of 2020 went from $10 to $3,000, a 300x gain. Wow. Wow. What on earth, man? <sighs> Guys, I don't understand how some of these coins are so successful, but I will tell you, when the market cap goes from basically nothing and then from 5 million to 225 million and the price goes from $10 to $3,000 that this is a bull market this is beefy finance going from $10 to $3,000 i don't care how hard you think this bear market is hold through it just buy something in this bear market. Hold through it, man. Hold through it. If beefy finance is going from $10 to $3,000, please hold through the bear market and, and just make it to the next bull market. Oh, my goodness. Bounty coin. And no more, yes, we need bounty coin for sure. Bounty coin would probably be one of the most successful coins out there. Could you imagine buying that for $10? Gosh, dude. No, I can't imagine buying beefy finance for $10, but... Some people did, and they made a crap ton of money. Buy anything, for God's sake. Traders will trade anything in a bull run. Not only will they trade anything, they will pour massive amounts of money into it. Dude, that is ridiculous when the price goes that high. Oh my goodness. When Dark Bro Jet, I'm going to meet Stevity Bro. Nice, Dark Bro. Ah, uh, King Mamba. Thanks, Claudinho. Samanino! Thank you, man. Thank you, Samanino. You're, you're awesome. What does Beefy Finance does? 
Uh, what? So it looks like uh, like a, another lending platform, possibly similar to Tectonic. What I could have been seeing there. Oh, uh, let's see. So invest your token in a beefy single asset vault. Beefy stakes the token on an external interest bearing platform. So you lend it to them. They lend it to somebody else. Reinvest your interest is used to purchase more of the asset and reinvest it. So then it, your interest compounds and it's got an auto compound on there. So very nice, man. At this point in the game, it looks like you can invest in USDC and Tether. You can invest in, what is this? Tether, is this Dash or Doge? Bitcoin and something else. Beefy Maxi. Ooh, you just want some more beefy. BFTM, whatever that is. Velo USDC and Crow. Gosh, dude. 81% APY. Not bad. 81% APY is not bad. Since I've never seen this, I don't know what this is. It seems a little a little out of touch. But the staking rewards aren't too bad here, man. So seemingly, it's just a finance platform, dude, that provides liquidity. You get your little beefy token. You loan it to them. They loan it out. And then you're expected to get money in return. Utility on that one. Just give them money, and they're going to try and make more money on your money and provides you staking rewards uh, across the board. I don't know. This is my first time seeing them, right? But we know Tim likes cows. Tim likes beef. Tim might like beefy coin. Peacock! Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, man, these feel heavy today. Keep it up. Keep it up. One more. Keep it up. Up. Oh my gosh, Pika, that was a tough workout. Thank you very much for the super sticker, Pika. Absolutely love it. Moji, man. Oh, dude, you need some potassium after that workout. You take that banana, you peel that banana, you tilt the head back a little bit, you lick it, and you stick it up. Oh, oh, oh Moji, thank you very much for the super sticker. Pika Power, thank you very much. Guys, wild, man. Popping in to say hello. A bros, clear that leggy. Have a cleatastic day. Thank you, Danelle. You have a great day as well. Danelle, had a meeting. What did I miss? No toast. You missed nothing, man. Actually, you missed Beefy Finance. Beefy Finance could be the next coin that makes you a millionaire during the next bull market. So watch out for Beefy Finance. I'm down with Beefy. If Nan, Nan P runs, oh, dude. If Nan P runs it, I'm down with anything that Nan P runs. Hey, bro. $1,000 in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Shiba, or Lunk, or your choice. Not financial advice right now. Right now? Right now, Bitcoin or Ethereum. Bitcoin or Ethereum right now, dude. Uh, I, I still think that... Only because I still think that... I'm still bearish, right? I mean, that's the best way to put it. I'm still bearish. And and I think those coins will hold up best during the bear market. So, as bad as that sounds, right? I'm going Bitcoin or Ethereum in terms of $1,000 right now. What I'm going for. If, if we were running, dude... If this was if this was a different market, oh, we'll have to see how Shiba and, and Terra Luna Classic actually are performing during the next bull market. But it, it would probably be a smaller coin. It, it would be a smaller coin like that. But I, I will say this, dude. I will say this is boring and and as annoying like as slowly as the gains are going to be in coins like Ethereum and and Bitcoin during the next bull market. I still think you're at least going to 5x your money. Now, that is hitting all-time highs from these current prices. So if we do not move lower, I still think you will see 5x gains from this point in time if you're going Bitcoin or Ethereum. I truly do. Uh, the smaller coins, I think you're going to 10x, okay? If we don't go any lower during the next bull market. If if these elections come to be, man, and we do end up falling another 30, 40, 50% or something crazy, uh, I truly think we're going to see some massive gains in crypto uh, all across the board. So I don't think it's a bad idea to sit there and hold your Bitcoin during this bear market because even if you have to suffer a loss from where we're at, I still think you're 5X in, uh, over the next few years when the next bull market returns. 
I mean, dude, you guys can see. If Beefy is able to run from $10 to $3,000, yeah, man, we're doing everything. Can do so well during a bull market. It's ridiculous. And that's not to say that the next bull market isn't isn't a bad market. Think about this. <clears throat> and, and look, this is this is not like jumping into politics too much, but if if we go through the next couple of years and and inflation gets worse and worse and worse, I've seen some polls saying that sixty plus percent of the entire United States thinks the best way to fight inflation is to give out inflation relief checks. Everybody is starting to want this free money. And they say free money because they don't realize the consequences of it. So everybody's starting to want this free money. And if we get through another situation, man, they might come out and they might give us $2,000 checks, which is a bad idea, okay? I don't want to see it happen. But if it does happen, you got to take advantage of it, man. It's going to do two things. It's going to flood the market same way that it did before. We've seen it happen. We know it's going to happen. So take advantage of that time. We might see. If that happens, we might see Bitcoin go to a quarter million dollars. We might see Ethereum go up to, to 20 grand. We might see Shiba Inu coin burn two zeros. You know, but take advantage of that. And I will tell you this, too. Don't necessarily cash out and hold your money in cash because if they start pumping more and more and more and more dollars into existence just diversify it if you get lucky like that diversify it man sit there hold some actual crypto not on a cryptocurrency exchange hold some hold some euros man hold some yen Hold hold some other currencies that you may not ever use. Don't just cash it all back out into U.S. dollars because if that's the reason we're pumping, it is going to fail in the end. It, it's absolutely going to fail in the end. Diversify in that situation, but absolutely take advantage of it. Please do. Uh, let's see. I put uh, I put all in for the post midterm run. Outdo, bro. Nice, dude. Let's legalize weed tax. Let's tax. Man, you guys just want to tax everybody. Tax everything. Let's get all the money. Clay, bro. When one year shirt, Frank, man. I I still have to put your patch on the shirt, dude. I got your shirt printed. I gotta put the patch on your shirt though. I want the I want the YouTube. Oh man, Bitcoin's falling. I want the YouTube logo on the on the side of the shirts for the giveaway shirts. Eh, not that drastic of a fall. 20,008 to 20,007. Crypto kind of falling down a little bit. We got some volatility going on in AMC up here in the top left. Not too much happening at the moment. Tax babies. Yes, yeah, so let's tax the babies that are out there. Let's tax everything. Tax the chipmunk in my backyard, man. We can call it a critter tax. You got critters in your backyard? Tax them, too. Tax corrupt corruption. I mean the politics. Yes, tax them. Dark bro. Clay bro equals Powerball. Dark bro equals Mega Millions. Let's go, dude. We're going to win this. I know we're going to win it. Clay ranting and failing, falling behind again. Bronson, how'd you know, man? How'd you know? It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen, but we caught back up. Tax the tax collectors. Yes, Pika. Tax the tax collectors. I like that one the best. Forget about taxing little chipmunks in my backyard. Let's tax the tax collectors. Tax the bros. No, ne no, Nicotico, don't tax the bros. What are you doing, man? Oh, my gosh. This dude comes in here saying tax the bros. Oh, my goodness. Tax the bros. This dude is wild. Tax the taxes that tax you that tax them by the taxes that tax the taxers. Yes. If, if that makes sense, if somebody could follow that, please do what Dark Bro just said. So I have, I have a bachelor's tax and read my last big message. A bachelor's tax? I don't even know what that means, dude. So I hope no. Uh, Bronson said, So I got ballsy today and bought some 22 calls on the TQQQ and an 08, uh, 8 cents a contract for Friday. Today was a good day, but I do see bearish flags forming. Oh my gosh. This dude. TQQQ. The TQQQ is not inverse, right? TQQQ is not, okay, is correct. It's not inverse. 
Yeah, that, I'd say that's a ballsy move, right? Are you gonna hold till Friday? Are you gonna hold through the? Are you gonna hold through the election? I, want, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing that stuff through election. I, I see the volatility picking up like crazy this week. I, this right here, this move right here. This is what I'm expecting. I expected this move to happen already today, but this is kind of what I'm expecting right here. <clears throat> Regardless of the results, man. I'm expecting some downside through this election. Hey, Cleaver. Oh, saw that already. That was from Frank. All right, we're back. No tax chip, bro. Never tax chip, bro. Tax guys, no bully, no ignore. Yes. Well, the tax guys can ignore me. They can ignore me all at once. She thoughts on XRP. Brian, when they win the lawsuit, not if they win the lawsuit, XRP is going to rocket higher. How high? I don't know, man. But I, I do think that they rocket higher when they win the lawsuit. I don't think, however that the SEC kind of just gives up and says, oh, okay, well, we end up settling. I don't think we're going to see that. The SEC, man, it's like a leech, dude. They've been attached. They're not coming off unless they die. So it's not going to be as easy as just the SEC settling. Um, but when the when the Ripple does win, it's going to be solid. It's going to be some, some very nice gains. I'm in Dark Bro. Let's do it. What did Dark Bro say? Taxing the taxers, the tax, tax taxers. I like it, dude. When they start at the inflation relief checks... I'm taking two hundred dollars and buying Twitter from Elon. <laughs> oh gosh, let me. You know what? Let me pull you guys because you guys are from all over the place, right? I actually, I don't see too much talk about that right now, but I have seen some talk about it. Do you think that they actually pass out some inflation relief checks? I I think that there's a very good chance that they do. I really do. I think there's a very good chance that they pass out inflation relief checks. I think it's a bad idea. I think it could cause prices to increase, um, which we need to take advantage of it. Because I'll tell you right now, if they do that, you will lose in the end. So you need to take advantage of it. Don't go out there and just necessarily buy some, buy some new shoes or something. You're going to need to take advantage of it. If they send out inflation relief checks, I do think you see a bounce. However, I I don't know if they will. I think there's a good chance they do, but I don't know if they will. What do you guys think? And states and federal, at one point, did have a bachelor's tax for those like you are not married to be taxed. Uh, why, why would people want people to be taxed more, man? It's ridiculous. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you very much for the coffee. Thank you very much for the caffeine. Patrick, thank you. Very much for the water. Oh my gosh. It's like Patrick knows. It's like Patrick knows when I need just a slight little break to take a drink of water there. Patrick, man, thank you very much. Peak of power for J Bones, baby. In little letters, it reads Rumble Participation Prize. <laughs> Oh, J Bones, man. J Bones, did you just get ripped on? Did you just get ripped on by Pika Power? Not a winner. J Bones is not a winner. J Bones got the participation prize. Oh, my gosh. Guys, a little moment of silence right there. J Bones getting destroyed by Pika Power. I love it. J Bones, man. I got to give credit where credit's due. Pika Power. Credit is due right there. J Bones, my man. Very sorry, but she got you pretty solid on that one. Taxation with proper representation is important, but politicians' moral compass is so screwed up. Oh, screwed off anymore? Yeah. No, I, I agree, dude. It, it is wild. And in a lot of this stuff, you know, you can't have, you can't have uh, a government. You can't have schools, fire department. Like, you can't have all of this stuff unless it's privatized for profit without taxes but i completely agree with it was tim there right or no pudgy it was pudgy uh dude there's a lot of of wild stuff that doesn't need to be going on on both sides of the fence right and when you're talking about trillions of dollars uh, i don't know if it's greed i don't know if it's power i don't know if it's just like nonsense i, I don't know i don't know what happens to people that when they when they're no longer normal people, I don't know what happens to their train of thought, man. 
Uh, Bitcoin, taking a little dump after hours right now, guys. <clears throat> California, New York, Delaware, Michigan, Wisconsin, and they're going to give inflation. Well, they are. There's not, not even like a question about it, Tim. They are giving inflation relief checks. Oh, man. Doesn't seem fair that some states are and some states aren't. I hope not. I don't want to check. But if they do give it to me, it's going straight to crypto. Yeah, look, I, I think that you could see a, a little bull market bounce or some sort of a dead cat bounce. Guys, please don't forget, though. It's not going to change. I'm going to tell you right now. <clears throat> this is a warning to everybody. And I may post these videos myself because everybody is, is going to be saying it. And then I'll try to bring people back down to reality a little bit. Let's say that they did give inflation relief checks across the board, okay? And, and let's say that they were kind of crazy amounts as well, $1,000 relief checks or, or whatever, $2,000 relief checks. You're going to see a pump, and that pump will result in a dump. It will result in a dump. It is not the bull market starting. It is the same exact problem. That, that, well, it's the same exact thing that created the problem we're in right now. It will very, very shortly last. So just remember that. Remember that, as I say, for Pika, all I have to say is facts. Yes, Pika came in with the facts on that one. I love it, Dark Bro. What a oh, this is a good one. Water had me Tokyo drifting on that one. I don't understand what it is with these $10 Super Chats. That was not easy to do. That that one right there made me dizzy. Wanna. Gosh, man. How's... Tokyo. <laughs> Tokyo Drift song. You guys know which one I'm talking about. I don't know how that song goes, but I'm definitely feeling like Tokyo Drifting right now. Wanna. Thank you. Muchos gracias, Wanna. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much for the super sticker. That was a fun one. I don't know if I've done that one before, but that was a fun one. And those ten dollars super chats, dude, they make me dizzy. They really do. Uh, let's see. I'm holding one hundred fifty million Shiba for December twenty twenty. I'm holding three point five billion uh, Tectonic. I'm holding three thirty billion Dogelon. I got in early on all of them. I sold my three point five million Luna Classic last week. A Lunatic Soldier, very nice man, very nice looking portfolio right there. Oh, Lunatic's Walker, Soul Walker, got you, uh, dude. I, you're gonna be doing pretty good in a in a bull run, man. You're gonna be doing pretty good in a bull run. Mario Kart. That's that's actually what I felt like it was. It was like Tokyo Drift style Mario Kart right there. Moji, wanna what? Huh? Who? I don't even know. I agree. The macros are so bad globally. We may have a year-end rally. And after that, going to see some blood. Yeah, crypto metoxos, man. Crypto meto... Oh my gosh. Crypto metoxos? Crypto meto XOS? I don't know how to say your name. Let's just call you crypto, right? Yeah, I, I agree with you, dude. The, the macroeconomic outlook on the entire globe right now. I don't even know if there's any... I don't know if there's any country that's currently thriving... But I agree with you in that end of, end of year rally. I don't know end of like 2023 rally. I don't know, but you do need to see that stuff get better if you want the rally to be sustainable. Okay, and when the rally is sustainable, dude, we're gonna, we're all gonna be making money. We really will. So in two years, the market will drop drastically, like it has from 2020 stimulus checks. Well, that's that pushes for a four year bear market, we, and we could have a little run in between. Right? We could have a little run in between. Absolutely. But, dude, I do not want homo G coming in hot. Dude, you guys are going to make me pass out. Uh, I do not want a four-year bear rally. But I can tell you right now, I don't know if you guys can find an excuse that if you are just willing to passively invest in stocks or crypto, especially crypto, but stocks, you're going to be very well off as well. But if you could passively throw 100 bucks a month or something for four years, years dude you're gonna be doing good if you could throw more than that imagine even if it was four years and you guys are sitting on a five thousand dollar portfolio that bear market that bull market comes if we go through four years of bear market declines you are easily looking at 100x gains across the board i mean you really are oh god this is not gonna be easy moji and dark bro definitely gonna make me pass out on this one 
Hoo 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 hoo. Oh my gosh. <coughs> All right. This is like this is like six. I don't even know if I can do this. Oh boy. Thank you very much, Dark Bro and Mo G. You guys can't see it just yet, but the sweat is all oh, Pika. Pika, thank you very much. This is for Juana, ladies and gentlemen. This is for Juana from Pika. We get the baby unicorn. Oh, it's just a little baby unicorn. Thank you very much, Pika. We're the baby unicorn, and I am going to pass out, guys. I can tell I'm gonna pass out. Oh god, Dark Pro. Okay. Ah, uh, Nick F, man, be on standby if you're out there right now. Be on standby. Oh, dark bro. Oh, or auto bro. Oh, auto bro, man. Thank you very, Patrick. I love you, dude. I love you, Patrick, man. Thank you very much for the coffee. Thank you very much for the coffee. Thank you very much for the coffee, Patrick, dude. Thank you very much for the water. The whole time that my eyes were closed, I just could I could see the ring light. The whole time my eyes were closed on that one. Uh, I was slightly scared on Dark Bro's last one right there. I was slightly scared, and I don't know if you guys can't see it. This is actually a pretty good shirt. Oh, oh, Dark Bro. Oh, oh my gosh, Dark Bro, thank you very much. Like, I was going to save Clay when he passes out. Nick F, if you're out there, man, please, please, please save me if I pass out, dude. If you guys see me, like, pulling Adam Aaron and just, like, smash the camera down or something, it's not a joke. I mean, it could be a joke. Just If, if you see it and I don't come back on, like, <laughs> gotcha, in about five to ten seconds, then it's not a joke. Give me five to ten seconds to let me, like, let me call. <gasps> oh, oh, my gosh, dark bro. <gasps> even breathe right now i can feel the steam coming out of my shirt right now oh my gosh moji man you dip that hot dog in your i've been dipping this hot dog for days man time to shove it <clears throat> moji dude <laughs> oh, 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 oh dark bro thank you very much pika hydrate thank you 
I can feel the steam coming out of my shirt right now. You guys have no idea. I'm a lot hotter than I should be. Tim, dude, thank you very much for the banana. Tim says, I saw how long you shoved that, you, you dipped that hot dog, man. Time to lick it and stick it. You know what it is, Tim. You take that banana, you tilt the head back a little bit, you lick it, and you stick it. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, it's hard when you can't breathe. My goodness, man. I never knew it was so hard to eat a banana when you had when you were short of breath. Thank you very much, Tim. Let me call 911. No, don't call 911 because then you guys are going to have to say, Whoa, Claybro passed out. They're going to be like, Who the heck is Claybro? Well, the guy on the internet. He passed out. They're not going to do anything. You can't call 911. You got to call Nick F. Okay, you gotta call Nick F. You gotta figure out how to get a hold of Nick F. Some dude that doesn't have any social media other than a YouTube, uh, other than a Gmail account. So you're gonna have to make sure that you got. <laughs> You gotta make sure that somebody's got the contact information for Nick F out there. Wanna? Yo quiero tu helado, Wanna? Yo quiero tu helado. My goodness, my Spanish is so good, man. Thank you very much for the ice cream. Muchos gracias. For? Por? Por el lado. Thank you very much, Juana, for the ice cream. By far, my favorite flavor, Juana. Thank you very much for the ice cream. By far, my favorite flavor. Oh, my God. All right, we're good to go now. We're good to go. I think we're good to go. I, if, I start, like, if I start looking over here, it's because I see two cameras. Okay, so if I'm like looking like this, I'm trying to look in the camera to talk to you guys, but it's because I see two cameras right now, and I don't know which one's the real one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Out, though, bro, for the little doggy super sticker. My goodness, is my mother in here? Mom, somebody's going to have to like be, be in... Uh, just a permanent resident of this channel. You're gonna have to watch and have my mom on speed dial So pretty much the only person I would trust with that is uh, Juana or or Pika at this point in the game and you boys can have my mom's number on speed dial So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make that happen in case you guys actually do make me pass out You're gonna have to call my mom and say hey uh, Clay bros down clay bros down he, he went down having fun, but clay bros currently down Okay Done for now. Oh, thank goodness, man. I, I still can't even see straight. I challenge Pika to a Royal Rumble. I challenge Pika to a Royal Rumble. Pika doesn't even know how to play Royal Rumble, man. I don't know if I should be talking trash like that. Pika's like the number one Royal Rumbler. I have to give up on this channel. Sorry, guys. Messes with my PTSD. <gasps> Mine too, Kai. Mine too, man. Don't, Kai. Kai, are you messing with me? Or are you being serious right now? Come on, Kai. <laughs> don't don't give up on us, man. Don't give up on us. <laughs> Wait, they can be fluent in Spanish in about two weeks at this rate. Old rounder. Facts, dude. Facts. I should just like call Juana up and have like an hour long conversation every evening, and then I will be I will be fluent in Spanish in like no time at all, dude. Keywords for now. Something I'm already oh for now. Yes, already have the number. Auto bro, man. Auto bro. <laughs> Treat it right, dude. Just treat it right. That's all I ask. Welcome to Clay's Dog and Pony Show. Ooh! Oh my gosh. I, listen, I really don't know. There's a lot of other people that talk about cryptos and stocks, right? There, there are, man. But there's a lot of guys that scam on crypto and stocks out there, too. I think we're having fun, man. We're having fun. Like, imagine, okay? I, I Just imagine with me, you will, for one minute. Tim, dude, thank you very much for the super sticker. Imagine with me that you will. Call me. Juana says, call me. We can talk Spanish. We can talk Spanish for an hour straight every night. You'll be fluent in two weeks. Yo quiero. Yo quiero, Juana. Yo quiero. Um, you just let me say this, right? Imagine 10 years from now or 15 years from now or 20 years from now. I don't care. What we end up going through is worse than the Great Depression, okay? And let's say that it lasts like a five-year period. People are unemployed, dude. The stock market is trash. You basically just scrape and buy, and it's like everybody's just trying to survive at that point. 
could you imagine people saying, like, could you imagine you ask your grandpa, right? Your great, great grandpa, whatever he would have been. Grandpa, how, how did you make it through the Great Depression? Like, what was that like? <laughs> and everybody was just like, oh, dude, we had so much fun, man. We were dipping and shoving. We were licking and sticking. We were eating that ice cream. We made it through because the bros hung together, and we made the best out of every single day. It didn't matter how bad it got. We still had fun every single day. We, we were sitting there saying, what depression? The lines on the chart, they're going down. The lines on the screen are going down right now. But we were still having as much fun as anybody could knew how could know how to have, and I think that's going to be a good story, man. I think that's going to be a good story. So when your grandkids, great great grandkids, says, "Hey, Grandpa, how'd you make it? How'd you make it through the Great Great Depression?" Because you got to call it Great twice, right? Because uh, the Great Depression is going to be old news. Um, how'd you make it through the Great Great Depression? Well. We dipped and shoved, and we licked and stick, my grandson. That's what we did. Dark bro! All I have to say is bro family is the best bro. It is, you know, dark bro, it really is, man. It really is. And I, I agree with you guys wholeheartedly on that one. Find some online community that's better, man. Tim says the only way to make it through depression is to dip. To dip that hot dog in your favorite dip, man. To keep on dipping until you're ready to shove. And when you're ready to shove, you... You shove it. Tim, man, thank you very much for the dinner. No eating tonight, man. No eating tonight. It is just straight up hot dogs and, and bananas for dinner tonight. Wait, what the heck? Don't ignore your future wife. Never, man. What did I say? I'm here for you. Wanna. God, dude, when she says, like, when she says incredible stuff like that, I, I don't know how to act right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how to act right. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to play it cool? Am I supposed to just be like... Like get all giddy on on camera. Like, what do I do? Somebody help me. What do I do? I don't even know what to do. When she's like, "Here, I'm here for you, Clay. Call me. Let's learn. Let's let's talk together." <laughs> and I don't even know what to do, man. Oh gosh. So the entire country is California. Well, California thinks they're the entire country. I might have missed something, but they yeah, they definitely think they do. Ah, uh, Clay, what the, oh, saw that one, yeah, whoa, Wanna said caller, bro, get them digits, Clever, Wanna said call, right now, right now, Wanna, you wanna come up on the screen right now, I don't know if you wanna come up on the screen right now, Hoot, make it every day the best day ever, KC, only thing you can do, man, I'm sure glad there's a f solid five to ten people who know how to play the downside, after all the depressions we will go through, teaching others the tactics to survive, ah, uh, yes, Bronson, me too, man. Moji! That Moji says, let's see some of that baby unicorn. It's cone. It's cone. Oh, that's not a very good horn there. Come on. Let's get the little side profile. It wants to curl too much. Why does it want to curl so much? Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. It wants to curl way too much, man. We'll go with that. We'll go with that one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Moji for the little unicorn. It's the baby unicorn. It's the best I can do today. Haircut doesn't like the unicorn just yet. Lauren, no approve. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where, where is Lauren? Has anybody seen Lauren posting anywhere on social media? I'm talking like... Instagram with the lashes. I'm talking Twitter with the Lauren account. I'm talking YouTube anywhere. I've not seen or heard from Lauren in well, a very long time. I don't remember the last time she was in here. No, bro. We're making sure you saw our chat. Gotcha, dark bro. Wait the bull market and wait till the bull market. We all need help understanding what to do with profits. Yeah, Bronson, that that is true, man. I, I really hope that every one of you guys in here has so much money when the bull market returns that you literally, you can just go out and blow half of it and still have more money than you know what to do with. Crypto Rocketeer, boom, baby, dabbing on them as always. It is five o'clock, guys. Look, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have videos coming out, okay? Two hours and three hours. Very good chance, very good chance that I, I try to do a, a TikTok live this evening. We'll see if you guys wanna jump over on that and just chill out for a while. Do some battles, have some fun, all that good stuff. So make sure to check that out. But uh, nonetheless, we'll do some shout-outs right now, and then we will be back with videos this evening. 
Uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a busy evening. I gotta get videos. I gotta go to the the gas station real quick. Potentially doing a TikTok live. I gotta make dinner. I gotta eat. I didn't even eat today. Oh yeah, I did. I had some leftover pizza this morning. So a lot a lot of stuff, man. I gotta do a lot of stuff still. But nonetheless, let's get these shout outs and we will be back. All right, man. Diddy two fourteen Bronson Dark Bro. We got Tim Moji Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, baby, Dark Bro. Frank, we got Dark Bro. Champagne Poppy Bronson. No, I actually did not do my Voyager yet. My Voyager vote yet, Bronson. I did not do that. Gosh, dude, I gotta do way too many things. Frank, see you later. Moji, Bronson, Champagne, Poppy, Pudgy. You have two days to get a ticket. How do I have two days to get a ticket? The drawing's tonight. The drawing's tonight. Old Rounder, see you later. DD214. I don't know if SD's in here. Wanna enjoy your evening. You're absolutely amazing. Peak of Power, enjoy your evening as well. Danelle, don't know if you're in here. Old Rounder, DD214. All of you guys know what time it is. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time. Hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.